What's up everybody, welcome to another episode of Technically Analytics. Today we'll dive into everything that is Mark Canna. Mark is one of the most likable players in the major league. Canna has 8 years of MLB experience starting out with the Oakland A's, moving to the Mets in 2022. At this year's deadline with the Mets struggling badly, Canna was traded for cash in a minor league starting pitcher named Justin Jarvis. The trade itself, one of the more uninteresting deadline trades made by Mets GM Billy Epler. I remember recently Canna said he loved New York because of the food. Canna is a big foodie. Fortunately for Canna, the Milwaukee Brewers also have a special connection to food. A brewer is a person or company that makes beer. Milwaukee is also known for its sausages. The famous sausage race that takes place every night during the game might give Canna some comfort. Obviously for Canna, being traded is looked at as a business thing. He didn't have control over it. So when you look at his stats over the course of the season, it's clear that he wasn't doing so great with the Mets. In 89 games, Canna had a slash line of 245 batting average, 343 on base percentage, 381 slugging, 725 OPS, and 100 OPS plus. If you want to know where that puts him on the 100 OPS plus, is the exact average among all MLB hitters. So Canna was very average with the Mets for this 2023 season. Canna is a streaky hitter, and his OPS does fluctuate throughout his career. And his career average is at 774 with a 115 OPS plus. Again, only 15% higher than the average MLB hitter. This video isn't about Canna's mediocrity with the Mets. The trade to the Brewers must have ignited Canna one of Canna's hot streaks. When he gets hot, he gets super hot. I remember a few series in 22 where Canna just went off for multi-home run games. Now that Mets slash line to the Brewers slash line, keep in mind only half the games at 42. Nonetheless, Canna is crushing a 309 batting average, 3D on base percentage, 463 slugging, at 851 OPS and a 132 OPS plus. I hate to be cliche, but the change of senior trope was a real thing. We can admire the nearly 50 point jumps in nearly every category, but let's see what Canada is doing differently, if anything. My usual go to charts are run value and pitch tracking if you watch my previous videos. These are good for seeing what a player can hit and can't hit. I think in this case it's less useful, although I will flush up the run value chart because Canada is not the hitter he was in 2022. It's a stark difference. Perhaps he found a bit of 2022 Canna in Milwaukee. This time, we will utilize splits to compare the difference in, difference being in Milwaukee has made. First up, platoon splits, or the stats versus left and versus right-handed pitchers. Curiously, when looking at splits here, Canna significantly improved against left-handed left-handers, going from a 229 batting average to a 361 batting average with the Brewers and a 1.104 OPS with the Brewers and a 0.743 OPS with the Mets. The right-handed switch show only a slight bump, but if we zoom out a bit into the monthly switch, this will reveal the streakiness that I was talking about. Canna was traded on July 31st. So from the month of July with the Mets to August with the Brewers, Canna's batting average only improved 7 points. His OPS actually went down nearly 20 points as well. Then looking into September, which as of writing isn't over, Canna pulled up his averages by significant margins. September will be his best month of the season if he continues at this pace. It's probably hard to visualize his streaks of up and down. The best chart baseball's mind has to offer on this is the 100 plate appearance rolling expected weighted on base average. According to Savant, the expected weighted base on average is formulated using exit velocity, launch angle, and on certain types of batted ball sprint speed. So, in the last 100 plate appearances, Canna has been mostly trending up. Keep in mind this is relevant because he's only had 170 plate appearances with the Brewers. So based on this, from the end of August into September, Canna has been on fire. Mark Canna is ending a season on a really good run. The Brewers are currently in first place in the NL Central. They are comfortably winning the division when the upstart Cubs are mere seven games behind. I will be wishing Canna the best of luck in the playoffs. I think the Brewers might have gotten one of the better trades at the deadline. Although I would argue in my last video, the Mariners certainly got good value in a different way. Just before I end, at the end of the season, I'll review my postseason, my preseason predictions to see how good or bad I was at predicting. So look out for that. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.